Hey, what's up and welcome back to Interpreting the Stars, where today I have a brand new film to talk to you guys about, and today that will be a little film called Rust Belt Driller. So Rust Belt Driller is ultimately about a down-on-his-luck painter that has just, he's had enough. Even though those around him love him and believe in him, self-doubt takes him into a pit of anger, frustration, and an all-around nervous breakdown where he turns to murder and mayhem, utilizing a massive drill that seems to have been made for that reason alone, murder. So I'm going to get this right off my chest, right out of the gate, and say that Rust Belt Driller is not for everyone. This film takes a lot of nods and inspirations from the days of old grungy grindhouse cinematic films. And I haven't seen a ton of them to be able to compare this to them, but I can definitely see the inspiration and it's proud of that fact. So you're going to be watching a film with a lot of practical effects for the gore and not just any practical effects, of course, classic practical effects for the gore to the point where you know it's fake, but it still kind of grosses you out anyway. It does this by both being brutal, insanely dark, but sometimes there's a morbid sense of humor in the film that lightens the mood anyway, particularly through the use of an infomercial for the drill itself. Past that, I don't want to gloss over the fact that underneath the layers of blood and guts, there lies an important message at the heart of the film filled with what can only be metaphors for depression and mental illness. This man is talented, he's in a loving relationship, and his agent is essentially a fatherly figure that absolutely adores him. Yet he's tired, he's unmotivated, he doesn't want to do this anymore. And something happens to the point where he cracks and he starts killing people. The acts of murder on their own can be seen as metaphors as well for the descent that his mind is currently going through. He has gotten so crazy that he's hallucinating people, personifications of his inner id, the little devil on his shoulder, so to speak, also nudging him in an unacceptable direction for his behavior. There's a lot going on in this film that I feel like average moviegoers will simply not grasp because it's such an indie film. The production value is questionable at best, apart from some awesome elements of practical effects. Being in the grindhouse subcategory, it gets away with not being a big production all the time, but other aspects aren't as good. I will say that some of the acting is technically done very well since our lead actor has a wide acting range as he gets crazier and crazier throughout the runtime of the film. But again, average moviegoers will go into this movie not knowing what to expect, at least not fully. And I feel like a big majority of them will say, yeah, <laughs> too weird for me, man. And I get it. It is weird. And our lead character is also not a very likable guy because he's killing people with a massive drill to the face. Narratively, it's also not like the film's plot is gonna go anywhere specifically. It's like an anti-coming-of-age tale or something. A character study on the philosophies of the human mind. I get it. But I also get that to a lot of people, it can just come off as cheap artsy fartsy hoopla. So let's go ahead and break down my final score for a second. From a tactical unbiased perspective, I can respect the inspiration the film took from grungy grindhouse films back in the day, and I can definitely respect the practical effects when it came down to the gore and the important messages skittered apart. But I cannot help but feel like it's such an odd film that doesn't fully have the production value that it needs to have to fully tell the story that it wants to tell in the way that it wants to tell it. This unbiased score is 64%. As for how I personally felt about the film, or my bias score, I don't think that the film was really ever for me, personally. Even though I respected this and that about the film, I can't see myself re-watching it anytime soon, or really recommending it to others. This score is 56%, meaning that when we combine the two scores together, we come to the final rating of 60%, 60 out of 100 possible stars, or a C letter grade on my letter grading scale. Guys, have you seen Rust Belt Driller? If you have, let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below. And as for YouTube, you guys know what to do. Hit that like, subscribe button, and bell to be notified when I come out with my next review. And until then, peace out! Dave examines movies. We just watch for fun. Davey is the expert. He is the number one. Critic that I go to when I need a movie.